hi guys welcome back to our channel so uh, welcome back to random chicas as you can see today i'm alone kathy and annabelle are away because of that title as you can see the title it talks about um, parenting hacks and i happen to be the only one that has kids so we we're all like you know what i think the, the kids should do this like let her be the one to talk about this is you know the rest don't have kids yet so uh, we decided to do this to talk about parenting hacks because i have a bunch of friends that have kids and i have so many other friends that are either pregnant or they have little ones and they keep asking me like girl you've, you've had kids before so tell us like what do i what should i expect or for those that have kids will keep calling you and they're telling you my god my kid is crying a lot my auntie told me to do this what did you do what worked for you you know such things so we decided why not actually one of our friends suggested that we talk about it we talk about parenting hacks on our channel so we decided that I will be the one to do it, as you can see. You guys, it's so weird talking alone without Kathy and Annabelle. I miss them already. But anyway, let's get right into the topic. Enjoy! So I'm going to talk about a few parenting hacks that have worked for me in the past. And um, I hope they work for you too. Please note, I'm not an expert at parenting. I'm not a pro. I'm not some sort of parenting guru. I'm none of that. I just want to share a few of the things that worked for me that may work for you. Everything I mentioned in this video is entirely my opinion. It has nothing to do with, I don't know, what people say. Like anything else. These are all my opinions and my views and things that worked for me i hope you enjoy i hope they work for you now if you have kids or in the future or you can share with your friends that have babies your relatives or anyone that you feel could need this advice so let's get right into it so i have them right here noted down uh the first one is be calm if you are a new mom this is like for the new moms if you're a new mom the first thing you need to do is be calm and do not worry you know you're new to this thing i know how it feels when you're new to being a mom the kid is crying you don't know what to do you're seeing a little feet the kid is so tiny you're not used to this you're having sleepless nights it's probably too much for you to take in sometimes people go into depression but you should always learn to be calm do not worry don't rush to make decisions if your baby is crying so much first calm down you need to you yourself need to be calm before you can actually help the crying baby because if you panic you never know what you could do um if learn to seek medical medical what attention okay okay if you feel if your baby is sick you know go to hospital don't try to you know fix the situation that, that, that like fix the, the issue yourself because babies are very delicate yeah you can run to hospital or you can ask the elders around you like the older ladies who have had kids before maybe your moms your aunties they usually know what to do they'll be helpful so don't freak out i think that's why in in africa i don't know if it's just africa but in uganda most ladies that have babies usually go back to their parents home so that their moms can help them at least for the first baby most of them i'm not saying everyone but most of them number two i don't do not expose your babies babies are so delicate they easily catch the flu they easily catch colds they easily get bacterial infections, viral infections. And now that we're in this pandemic, seriously, you need to keep your baby safe. If you're having a baby in this period, or if you've had a baby in this period, keep them safe, keep them away from people. And don't let people go around touching your baby before they wash your hands, before they sanitize. Don't let people pick, pick your baby. I know 
your your relatives your friends are excited to see a new mom and there's a new baby but they need to avoid the pics and the touching of the baby's face and africans have this thing of giving babies money money is the dirtiest thing in the world i think because you don't know where it comes from you don't know how many hands have touched it you don't know like seriously don't give little babies money i think you can give them the money but not in their tiny little hands or in their clothes if you want to give the mom money the baby money give it to the mom yeah but not in the baby's hands or baby's face so hack number three always keep your babies clean kids uh, babies are easily irritable they get irritated once they feel discomfort sometimes a baby will freak out and start crying just by feeling that they've done number one like the speed or even number two uh that makes them uncomfortable and they cry so they like to be comfy like warm and cozy and dry they don't like to feel it yeah so if you want your baby to be happy and cozy and happy and not crying try to keep them dry actually if your baby cries a lot one thing you should always check is the diaper usually that if it's even a tiny number one or two it could irritate them and then they'll end up crying of course sometimes they cry because of colic and other probably infections or just like the new environment doesn't I mean, they're now in the world they've been in the belly they're now in the world so that could you know make them cry if you're going to teach your baby how to use a bottle i i think you should not be in the room where the baby is because i've noticed that babies can't smell their parents like they smell their mother and they can sense that my mom is around i am not going to take that bottle i want the booby so what i usually do i usually leave like leave the room or when i'm away like i go away and let someone else give them the bottle they actually take the milk but the minute i try to do it myself this i i noticed this with my own kids the minute i try to give them the bottle myself they could not take it because they know i'm their mom like i'm not supposed to give them the bottle so introducing bottles to your babies i think the best thing to do is to give someone else to do it for you yeah and you should not be around yeah it works guys it works <laughs> the next hack is be aware of what you eat sometimes the things we eat actually irritate our babies babies like I have a cousin who, whose baby always got a running stomach and sometimes she should throw up whenever this girl ate mushrooms. So each time my cousin ate mushrooms, like the, all the times she ate mushrooms, I think the nutrients from the mushrooms somehow end up in your breast milk and then once the baby takes the breast milk, they are probably allergic to the mushrooms and then the baby it's a running stomach so sometimes what you eat actually affects the babies think about it like you should think about it no i think if you have a baby and you see you see them get irritable like their tummy aches they're um, they're getting a running stomach first figure out if it's something you're eating like if you feel whenever you eat maybe beans that's when your child gets the the, the rumbling belly the pain in the tummy or the discomfort so once you change the meals you'll notice that maybe the baby gets better so if it's that specific food i think you'd have to avoid it if you're going to breastfeed yeah this is a true story my friends so beware of what you eat next some babies are actually lactose intolerant and they're allergic to breast milk not just any milk but breast milk i know someone uh who was allergic to breast milk they were born i think when they were four kgs but by the first month by the time they made one month they were like 1.8 kgs yeah and yet they were feeding like breastfeeding and everything was okay but this kid was just losing weight losing so much weight so i think I think 
there are babies out there. I think this is a my like it's it's not so common. It's not a common disease. I don't know if it's a disease, but yeah, it's not so common. But it actually happens. Usually, kids who are lactose intolerant don't take milk, but yeah, the breast milk is also there. So I remember in this case, I was told I know the person. So this person, uh, the mom, had to seek medical help. And um, I remember the ped told them they could not feed their baby on on breast milk, so she had to stop breastfeeding and uh, try some other, you know, formulas and some sort of soya mixed milk, something like soya soya related things. Yeah. So, if your baby is losing weight, please seek medical attention, medical help. <laughs> so the next one, babies are so different. Sometimes you need to find out what makes them happy. It could be a lullaby, it could be the position in which you hold them that makes them happy. Sometimes it's even the person that's carrying them. Yeah, these are like animals. They have they sense good people. <laughs> okay, they sense happiness and they don't. If this person carries me, I'm happy. Or if I'm carried in this position, it makes me happy. Or if I if you sing for me, maybe twinkle twinkle little stars or or McDonald's, whatever, I feel better. So yeah, sometimes it works. Okay, for me it worked because I know they had my babies had different songs that made them so happy and calm. And every time we sang those songs or played them, they felt so much better. So look for that one thing that makes your baby feel good. You guys, this next parenting hack is about advice like once you have babies everyone in your life will try to give you advice about parenting they'll have so many things to tell you but one thing you should know is that you you don't have to take all the advice listen to people don't shun their advice but listen listen to all of it pick out what works for you you don't have to you know disregard everything they say just listen and pick out what works for you not everything will work for you will work out for you because sometimes someone will tell you something probably shy your kid in some weird thing and to you you, you really you know <laughs> you find it so off it, it, it's okay not to take up that advice but there'll always be you know this advice that someone will give you and you feel yeah this can work for me so listen to people but pick out, pick out what works for you. Pick out what's necessary for you. Sometimes you remember someone told you something in future and then it will be useful. I remember when I had my baby, someone told me, like my first baby, someone told me about the showering bed, like every time their baby cried, especially in the night, like should wake up, shower the baby and the baby will get better. So I remember my baby at one point cried the entire night was too much for me. And I remember I woke up, I was like, this kid is joking. I'm going to show you and we'll see. Because I remember what someone else had told me. Yeah, so I woke up in the night, we show the baby and you people. Mm? This baby was just relaxed. He kept quiet. And he, meanwhile, he was quiet and awake the entire night. As in just quiet and just... You know, looking up in his baby coat, just chilling and enjoying the night, and we slept off. So, you never know when it can work for you. Yeah, but listen to advice. This is for the older kids, like not the tiny little babies, like little children, big children. Children love to play, children love to be active, children love to be outdoors. Like encourage them to actually be outdoors. Of course, it's not safe in some environments. Like if you know in an environment that's not safe for your children, it's okay to you know let them keep indoors. But if you're in a closed off fence, uh, let your kids go out and play. You know, let them play, let them climb trees, let them play in the sun, let them get dirty. It's okay. They are kids. Let kids be kids. They need to be active because their brain needs to be stimulated. Okay, that's what my mom says. Yeah, it's good. I know it's good. Like lately, we have baby tablets, we have cartoons, we have all these fancy, fancy things that babies can play with, baby games. But you can't have your kid, you know, stuck on the 
on the tablet like all the time uh, i think they kind of get dormant let them out let them go play let them be children let them have fun as kids let them not miss that stage yeah <laughs> the next one so this next one is about food let your babies feed on healthy meals guys like if you have a kid let them have you know healthy meals these meals keep them strong keep them healthy and uh your babies won't be getting diseases or infections or those you know and your kids won't be in hospital all the time i know that lately it's like a common occurrence like all the time kids are sick like i don't think in the past kids used to fall sick like they do now you'll find kids we like to feed our kids on ice creams all the time junky junky meals all the time like all that bad food okay it's not bad food it's 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 good i think you should give them this food as a treat hmm. yeah like let the ice cream be a treat let the junky junky food be a treat let it not be something they're eating on a daily because your babies need to be safe keep them away from sweets you can't tell your kids eating sweets all the time i know sometimes people will say oh my god some milk teeth they can rot they'll eventually fall out you guys sometimes the rotting affects the gums as well like your, the baby's milk teeth may come out but their gums are affected so by the time the actual teeth come out uh, actual teeth the permanent teeth not actual teeth okay so the permanent teeth by the time the permanent teeth come out the gums are messed up so it's just a messed up mouth hashtag kid grows up and they're so insecure about their dental so keep them healthy foods your babies will never be in hospital <laughs> um so for this next one it's about denying your baby some things so this hack actually works you people if you want your kids to have value for something to appreciate something learn to deny them things don't let your kids have everything they want oh mommy i want that give it to them oh mommy i want to eat this give it to them you know those kids you go to supermarkets like and then the kid you're trying to buy maybe you're shopping for your household and then your baby's just saying mommy i want that car mommy i want this daddy i want that and then your parent the parents are like it's okay it's okay just put in the cart put the shopping cart put the shopping cart no guys i i think p.s i said these are my opinions i'm not an expert mom but i believe in denying kids some of these things like let them earn them like if you want that car that you see in the supermarket then i need to see that you're doing something impressive at home are you cleaning after yourself hmm? are you doing something useful for you and for us <laughs> so, you know let them earn the thing so i feel like if some if a kid is doing something at home you can reward them with that item that they wanted but, but don't let your kids have everything so what happens when you're no more or like when you're no more or if you know god forbid you can't afford these things in future and then your kid is so used to having things given to them and then the next time the next thing you know your child is a teenager and then they are thieves because you can't afford what they want if they're just receiving what they want okay this is so far-fetched but get my point let your kids earn these things that they want deny them <laughs> last but not least if you're a mommy and you have your babies i think it's okay to netflix and chill i mean you're doing so much for the babies you're staying up all night you're taking care of your babies your babies are coming fast in everything you can't do something without thinking about your babies think about your babies you're looking shabby you're looking disorganized because of your kids everything you're doing is my baby my baby my baby my baby so i think it's okay to you know take care of yourself it's okay to watch tv get time go out there go to the spa go go to the saloon do your nails do your hair you know go watch go to the cinemas and watch movies go out and swim with your friends go out and dance go out and have a good time it's very okay when you have babies it doesn't mean it's the end of the world it doesn't mean that your life has been closed off so you're now thinking baby 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 no these are my 
opinions these are my views and um i hope you like them and i hope okay you can pick out what you feel works for you i really hope um you enjoy them i know it's this is a different kind of topic from you know the usual random topics we have but i hope you liked it so shout out to you kathy and annabelle i'm waiting for your babies so that they can so that you can come and watch this video and get all the advice and just share those the hacks shout out to all the moms out there that have babies already may the good lord you know help you raise them into responsible beings and and to everyone that doesn't have babies yet uh, may god bless you with your own little bundles of joy so that you can come and watch this episode <laughs> and get advice <laughs> okay guys from me to you peace i'm out <laughs>